you actually can enter, but it tells you that it requires a level two antenna and it won't let you see anything. And I think eventually it teleports you back. It has such a nice sound. It opens up and then it shows you what you could possibly get or an exceedingly rare godly, really unique pets. Some of these pets are like, look at these. There's a dragon. There's three little droplets of fire. Oh, that guy's, that guy's good. But just look at the builds. Like, look how clean it looks. It looks like a Pokemon lab almost. Look at these little wires and, and tubes. thinking another new simulator russo you play a lot of simulators aren't they all the same mostly but this one is actually amazing and different and i'm gonna show you all the quirks and features and leaks because i am an exclusive tester are you ready to see this look at these people look at this what is that that's sick what's going on guys it's russo and welcome back to the channel oh my gosh look at these pets these pets are sick bro what no lie these are my, this is my first time seeing these if you guys don't know what this is this game is called ghost simulator and i'm actually friends with some of the creators and they graciously allowed me to test the game and show it to you guys a little bit early it's gonna be coming out super soon but right now it's still in testing so keep that in mind when i do anything it's actually gonna release on may 3rd they said the game's gonna have weekly updates so you know what that means whenever there's a simulator and it's dope with weekly items oh it's game time but look, first of all look at these pets like look how unique these pets are bro this is a glove this is like a lantern they look so cool and they're all transparent because they're like ghosts these are the ones i have right now i think they're just like spooky bats but i love the unique abilities of all these pets like look at this one what is that oh my god these actually look amazing i'm not even kidding all right so let me just show you guys what this game is all about you essentially have the same sort of area in most simulators where you have like a lobby and then there's like a shop sell and teleport but if you notice something different about this one it's like perfectly integrated as like a half laboratory and it doesn't feel like this circle that you spawn in and then it's just like teleport to the next area like it just it feels like more of like an open world game the way they lay it out and once i show you how you actually get to the next tiers bro it is sick it's dope keep watching not only are the pets really unique in a lot of the game aspects let me show you some specific things that are really unique about this game first of all they have a mini map and you can even extend it and look at the entire map so you can bring out your entire map and see the entire game you are here so this is the little laboratory and there's so many different areas to explore that's how many and then you can view the surface and the below like this is extensive okay it's like a lot so it just makes whoa look it's like a peacock bro that's dope okay so let's go to the shop and let me show you guys what it's kind of about basically in ghost simulator you suck up the ghost with your vacuum and then you sell and then you sell what you collect which i kind of forget is it like essence i'm not really sure and you get okay so you also get things every time you you suck up a ghost but it fills up your backpack so up uh, look at this I'm filling up my backpack down here, 20 out of 150. And then if I were to go to sell, bam, I sell the souls of these ghosts and I sell it right here and I make money. But just look at the builds. Like, look how clean it looks. It looks like a Pokemon lab almost. Look at these little wires and, and tubes. Look at this, bro. There's actual moving liquid. I just love the detail and I love the... I just love it. Honestly, it looks really great. So I'm gonna show you guys more of this game. I'm kind of just showing you literally not even anything. This is this is just the lobby. Let's move on to the actual game portion. So there's quests, there's even boss battles. In 13 minutes, there'll be another boss battle. You click up here on the boss icon and you teleport to a specific area where that boss is and all of you guys together battle the boss. It's crazy. Also, there's hoverboards. If you can see right there, that guy is a hoverboard. And uh, I don't, unfortunately. You can unlock hoverboards, I think from, to be honest, I'm not really sure exactly, but yo, let me show you this. So this is one area, right? This is like the first area you start in. There's different types of ghosts that spawn. These are the ghosts that I can like grab the souls of right here. Um, and that's like the animation, first of all. It looks great. As you walk around, it follows you and um, you can upgrade your vacuum and backpack and stuff. And there's different types of ghosts that spawn as well. Some of them are like stronger, more powerful, but look what happens when you walk to the next area. It's not just a wall where you purchase and you go on. You actually can enter, but it tells you that it requires a level two antenna and it won't let you see anything. And I think eventually it teleports you back. So you pretty much can't do anything until you get a level two antenna. Look at how cool this is. They made it feel like an open world game. 
it's not like you buy your way through, you know what I mean? So you basically traverse your way through this entire map, but in order to access certain areas, you need a higher level antenna. And upgrading that is in your character section. You go to right here and I can actually upgrade. Finally, I can upgrade my antenna. So I have three acorns and three antenna parts. Let's upgrade and bam, I'm upgrading my antenna. Now I can go through all the sounds and everything is just so satisfying. So now the fog is lifted and we can go through to the next area, bro. That's so cool. I love that. I honestly love how they integrate that, man. Super cool. So now there's different types of quests that I can do here. If I talk to him, there's different types of ghosts. I wonder how strong these are. Oh, they're not too strong. They're not too bad. Oh, here's one too. What about this one? This one's a little bit better. Let's grab those antenna parts. We're gonna need those. So basically they just drop items sometimes and also give you an amount of souls. Like I think it's the amount of HP they have. That's how much you get deposited into your backpack. Um, is that right? Yeah, I think it is. So, oh, look at this. They have ramps for the hoverboards. Dude, I'm actually just really impressed with this game and the fact that I'm friends with the people that made it. They said they're gonna hook me up with some exclusives and it's gonna be dope when it finally comes out May 3rd. So be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be pretty spicy. So let's go ahead and start doing some quests. Um, I love that when your pets are behind you, they like go transparent. They're not like blocking your view and they just thought of a lot of things. Look at this like sign, bro. Just the signs look good. The volcano. If Oh, here's an owl. An owl, this owl is like a little bit rarer than these other ghosts. Like it gives you, sometimes it gives you better items I found out. So there we go. We got ourselves some gems. There we go. I'll take some gems. So it's cool, you can view your quests at any time and they also pop up here. Um, and then when you complete them, I think you actually just go talk to the guy. Yeah, I think I just talked to this guy and I, I already completed them. You saved me so much time, blah, 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 blah. He gives me a reward for completing these tasks. Thank you so much. Oh, those items, you can use them to upgrade your antenna so you can explore new biomes. To do this, and then they tell you how to do it, even though I just told you, this is a genius way to do a tutorial because you're actually doing quests and you're not just doing a boring tutorial. What's this? Wait, what is this? Hi there, I'm Ghost Hunter Dylan. I collect ghosts as pets. They're so cute. Pets boost your ecto tokens and ectoplasm when you collect and sell ghosts. So I think ectoplasm is what you collect in your backpack and then you sell that for ecto tokens. So I got this super rare mythical class pet. I'll give it to you, but only if you can finish all my tasks. Oh, we're gonna get a mythical pet, bro. We are gonna get a mythical pet if we complete this. Step one to get the mythical pet, go unbox two pets from the shop. You got it, bro. In order to get the pet, I get the pets. And also there's a fly in my room. I gotta kill this. I'm sorry. I don't wanna abuse this fly, but it's like, it's like gonna get in my drink. All right, so we have to do this quest, unbox two pets from any pet crate. So let's see, let's hope we have enough. By the way, I think they just gave me a ton of gems to test this out. So that's amazing. Thank you so much to the owners. Now, uh, I guess we just have to unbox two. I don't think they said what rarity. Should we go three? Well, let's go three. Look at that, dude. The animations, look at this. You can view it. It has such a nice sound. It opens up and then it shows you what you could possibly get or an exceedingly rare godly. And then as you hover over it actually, dude, that's crazy. Honestly, they thought, <laughs> look at the horse, bro. The horse is hilarious. I actually love this. Like, I love this style, love this design. Even though the pets are, most of them are like blocky and I always say I don't like blocky pets in Roblox games just cause they're overdone. These feel more unique because they add a lot and they're also like nothing I've seen before. Like the face textures are completely different. Plus they add like fins and, and ears and they also have that ghost tail. So none of them feel too square. And then there's an exceedingly rare godly pet. You know what, let's purchase one of these. See what we get out of this pet crate three. Come on, baby. Come on. I don't even need, oh, a clownfish. I will take, thank you so much. So I don't even really need to get a rare pet out of this because we're gonna get apparently a mythical if we just open two crates and then tell that guy. So we're gonna get a mythical. I'm not sure if that quest is gonna be there for you guys. I'm not sure if it's just something they put in the game for me right now to show what the game can handle. I'm not really sure, but let's go ahead and uh, exit out of this. And there we go. Oh my gosh, it's ready to happen. It's ready. Oh, you got some cool pets. I found one as well, eating some of Ghost Hunter Gabe's acorn stash. You can have the pet as a reward. Don't worry, I've got plenty more. We got the chipmunk. And that's apparently a really rare mythical. Oh wait, making progress. Oh, okay, so he gave me a pet. The chipmunk is not that. So the chipmunk is not the mythical pet yet. I have to keep on doing these tasks. So now I need to open an uncommon, which I believe is 
gonna be in this one, huh? Wait, didn't I just open an uncommon? I'm gonna try one of these. Let's try one of these pet crate twos. Let's see if we get an uncommon. Yo, this game is honestly great. And I haven't even shown you much of the game yet. Like I've just been opening pets and I, I hope you get a good idea of what this game is about. You basically collect the ectoplasm from the ghosts, you sell, and then you buy pets and other things and upgrades but there's so much more to it because it's like an open world feel game. To be clear, this isn't sponsored or anything. Like these guys are my friends and they showed me this game and I was like, yo, I'm gonna play this game because we're friends, but also this game is flipping amazing and I would have played it anyway because it's so dope. All right, here, let's go ahead and uh, really get an uncommon here. We're getting, we're getting a little bit lucky. If we don't get an uncommon, we'd have to start to the next tier. Come on, what? Where's my uncommons? All right, we're going to the next tier. We're going to Pet Crate 3. This will guarantee me an uncommon, hopefully. <laughs> Probably. Probably guaranteed an uncommon. Please, please don't let me down. Yes! We got a panda uncommon, let's go. Okay, so I think that's what we needed to do for the quest, right? Get an uncommon, there we go. Unbox one uncommon. It's time. Whoa, I love that pet. I'll be sure to do more research on it. Don't forget to take this. So you give me a monkey now that's still not the mythical pet. I have to do a few different things. All right, two tasks down. Five more to go! Bro, oh man. All right, now I need to unbox, unbox five pets. Let me show you in the meantime, they do have different backpacks as well. You can cycle through these and they look really cool. The number two pack, bro, it's a toilet. The turbine, the jet pack, the scuba pack, the void pack, chroma pack, that's the best one. The chroma pack, bro, that's sick. And then they have different vacuums as well. We got ourselves the eight bit, the hex, Energize the plunger, the number two vacuum. <laughs> the jet vac, oh my god. Bro, these are sick, that one's awesome. So that's the best vacuum in the game. Of course, when the game comes out, you know your boy's gonna grind or spend Robux and get the chroma vacuum, okay? It's just too pretty not to get. Okay, let's actually finish this quest so we can get this mythical. So I'm gonna go ahead and open just four more pet crates. Then I'll see what my next task is. Oh, I think we got four. Did we, did we do it all right? Exit, yes, we did it. Unbox four pets. So let's talk to this man. Please, please give me what I want. Not a cheetah, I want the mythical. This man won't give me the mythical. It's really important. Could you find my lucky ghost hunting net? We gotta find a lucky ghost hunting net. Okay, let's sell. Look at that animation, by the way. It's so freaking cool. I'm probably on the leaderboards. Oh, I actually am not, wow. I am not on the leaderboards because I am terrible. Okay, <laughs> well, I need to go find this guy's net, which uh, I guess it's in the forest somewhere. Oh my gosh, it's right there. I just found it, it's right there. Okay, well, let's uh, let's find this thing and uh, can I jump on the ghosts? I can't jump on the ghosts. How do I get up here? Bro, I found it. I found it, it's right there. I got it! Dylan's lost net! Bro, I found it! Let's go! Okay, so let's bring this over to him. We're, we're so close, we're like two steps away from getting this mythical pet. I don't even know what this is. I've never completed this quest. I tested this game a little bit, but I've never even seen this quest. It wasn't even here before. My lucky ghost hunting that, I missed you so much. <gasps> Dude, what is he gonna give me for this? A tiger, so he gave me an uncommon. He's getting more rare as we go. All right, back to business. You're more than halfway to the mythical pet. I need you to unbox three rare pets from any box. Oh snap, now I need to get really rare pets. I need to get rare pets, man. And I, I'm running out of gems. I am running out of gems, you know what? Maybe I need this, double luck. I'm gonna buy the double luck. And then wait, what's this? Quick unbox? Eh, don't really need that. Let's go ahead and purchase. We need it, now that we have the double luck, which by the way, when you buy it, it instantly works and I love that. We got a shark! Bro, it already worked! I really want the magic rabbit, but I need rare pets right now. I think I need, did it say four? That's a lot of rare pets. Oh man, I might not have enough. I might not have enough. I don't know how I'm gonna get these rare pets, man. I need, I need gems. I only have 4,000. Oh no. No, I got an uncommon. All right, well, I think a good cliffhanger for that quest is that I'm not gonna complete it yet. You guys gotta see on May 3rd. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you got notifications on, cause that day is gonna be lit when the game comes out and it blows up front page and I'm playing it and I got the mythical pet first, okay? So you're gonna wanna see that vid. So definitely make sure you're subbed and you got notifs on. But I'm gonna do a little bit of more ghost hunting. So this is the main process of the game where you walk around you collect uh, the ectoplasm from the ghosts, and it's just so satisfying. And like I said, it's just so cool that the entire game is an open world map, and you can literally walk into the next area. It just won't let, like, 
it doesn't block you. Like it's an open world game, but it just, it makes it so like you can't walk there. It says this biome requires level eight antenna and then you walk back and then you're good. So you kind of get like a sneak peek and then there's just this fog and you just, you literally can't go there yet. It's just so cool. I, I love that idea of like getting to the next area. And then also look at these like really unique pets. Some of these pets are like, Look at these, there's a dragon. There's three little droplets of fire. Oh, that guy's, that guy's good. And then on top of it, hoverboards are a huge part of the game. You can unlock really, really rare hoverboards and you can grind for them. There's just so many things to do in this game, all these quests, and there's different tiers of quests to unlock. And I, I don't know, man, it's just, it's pretty dope. And uh, I want all the best things. Oh, I can't go here either. What do I need, level five? Am I ready to upgrade again? Am I ready to upgrade? Let's go to my character. I can't upgrade yet. I need some more stuff. I need I need 10 antenna parts and five newspapers, which I don't even think I have any newspapers. I have eight antenna parts. I'm almost there, but I don't have the newspaper parts. And then this is where my hoverboards would be. And these are all my pets, which I think I got. Yeah, these are legendaries. Not sure if I got any better ones. Yeah, I think those are my best pets right now. Wait, the shark is actually better. Yeah, the shark is better than the bat. Can we equip this? Let's, let's actually take off one of the bats, put one of the sharks on. Yo, there we go. We got a shark. Look at his face. He's like, he. <laughs> I love that. Oh, you can go under here. What's that, bro? What the heck is this? It's an Easter egg. It's an Easter egg. That's one of the owners. Bro, I love that little touch. And these ghosts right here. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed, definitely smash the like button. And if you're excited for this game, oh my gosh, I just realized it shows on the map enemies. So it shows you dots where the enemies are on the mini map. Look at that. That's so freaking cool. It shows you where the ghosts are on the minimap. I didn't even realize that. If you guys are hyped for this game, definitely go to the game link and leave a fave on it. Follow the game. Make sure you play it and support these guys because they are my pals, but also it's a dope game. Definitely like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to be part of all the videos. I upload two a day and you don't want to miss them because they are super hot fire boy. Whoa, what's this? It's a construction area. I'm not going to go there yet. Tune in next time and I'll see you guys when the game is finally out. Okay, that ghost just... Uh, Got a little bit too close. See you guys next time. Take it easy and goodbye.